There we go. Okay. Uh, and then let's go to this guy here. And where is... Oh, there it is. There. Okay. Audio got fucked again. It's fine. It's it's no big deal. No one no one will know. How will they know? They're not gonna know. They're not gonna know. Hi. Um. It's uh. It's Friday. Uh. So tonight we were supposed to play golf with your friends. Uh. Talk to our buddy Matter. He had a conflict come up tonight, so he's not gonna be able to join us. So we're gonna play next Friday. So tonight, I am playing one of Lolly's very favorite games in a fairly new form it is friday the 13th that's true um i'm playing mass effect legendary edition which i'm very very excited to play hi um, it's me stan yeah nice um so i'm very excited i think it's going to be a really fun time this is going to be fantastic um so yeah i can't wait let's see who we got uh Hiltzy, thanks for the lurk, buddy. I see Karen is here, and Tom, and Indy, and Miss Ayla, and Pumpkin, and Vivian K. S'mores. It's good to see all of you. I'm glad you're here. Um, let me go ahead. Actually, I'm going to... Hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm gonna have a little trail mix. Oh, Tom's not here. I didn't. Okay, I didn't see shit. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, excuse you, troll. Excuse you. Reverse. Reverse. All right. So, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to uh, to uh, to affecting some masses or whatever, whatever the fuck. Um. Either way. I haven't played this game in a very long time, and I'm very looking forward to it. So let's uh, let's do it. Where's the button? There's a button. I got it. It's fine. I wouldn't worry about. Do we? Actually, I'm gonna have a little, another little nibble of that trail mix because I only got a tiny bit. Ooh, fancy Bioware logo. I just want to bask in the title screen for a second. Is that weird? Will oh, still it's show, so good. As usual. Night. This is this is really good. Twisty, thank you for the host. Can I can I watch through Discord so I don't have to have the lag? Yeah, of course. There you go. How's that? Yes. Yeah, that's the good stuff, isn't it, bud? Oh, I thought it starts. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you like that, don't you? God, I love this game. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. I know. I know what you like, baby. Oh, yeah, we, Lolly and I actually went and, uh, we went to the meat fountain yesterday, just a couple of weeks after Tom and I went to the meat fountain. So, that's right, Candies, we're going to mass all the effects or whatever. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm already super into this. Like, it, the, the title screen alone is gorgeous. Hey, look, it's a user agreement that I'm definitely going to read. <laughs> line by line, I am stream for the record. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, what kind of options? Okay. Okay. Subtitle font. I'll turn the subtitles to large. Just so it's easy to read. That's... Okay, but Tom, am I wrong, though? I was... In fairness to you, 
in fairness to you, your father was at your wedding. Your father was not at the meat fountain. Okay. Controller vibration. We'll leave it on. We'll see if it works. It might work remotely. I don't know. Gameplay feedback. Sure. Crash reporting. Sure. All right. All right. We're all good. All right. Here we go. That's fair, Tom. That's fair. That's fair. All right. We're going to start from the beginning, baby. I want to go back. Back to where it all started. Which is great because Mass Effect 1 is by far the game that got the most TLC mm -hmm. out of all of them. It, it did. desperately needed it. Mm -hmm. Cool, because like this game is, you know, what, fucking 15 years old. Yes. Like, here it is. 2007. Like, I remember... I remember sitting in the TV room of my old apartment with Mass Effect in the Entertainment Center, like the Xbox 360 and Mass Effect playing in the Entertainment Center. And like just love and life, man. This game was so good. That's true. There was no garlic steak at your wedding. Although there was still good food at your wedding. Most of which your father tried to push on me. Makes you want to continue your save you started? You should. Oh. Fun fact. Mm -hmm. Mass Effect 2 single-handedly ruined everybody's plans for my 21st birthday party. Outstanding. Because if you look up the release date of Mass Effect 2, that is my 21st birthday. <laughs> That's phenomenal, honestly. And people were like, you're going to go out drinking, right? And I was like, fuck no, I got a galaxy to save. I'm going to do auto level up for squad. Just for the sake of time. So level scaling, I like the new level scaling. The the 1 to 30 as opposed to 1 to 60. Yeah. You get like twice as many uh, talent points per level, obviously, because you have half the levels. I dig it. We're turning subtitles on. Okay. Uh, and then... Uh, I'm going to leave the tutorials on only because it's been like 10 years, 10 plus years since I've played this game. And Lolly just aged himself. I mean, fair. All right, let's see. And let me check the controls, make sure everything's there. Blah, blah, blah. Oh. Okay. Right. Age talk isn't allowed. Eh, it's, it's fine. It's, it was an anecdotal thing. Uh, played all the way. Oh, there you go. Well done, bud. Well done. <laughs> well done. Played all the way through all three of them when the edition was released and got the good ending. At peace with your time in this trilogy now. Nice. Nice. All right, let's do this thing. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Oh my god, this is already gorgeous. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. <laughs> it looks exactly how I remember it. It really does. And boy, how did I remember it terribly. <laughs> There's a YouTuber. Space. Uh, if, if, if I can chill for another random ass YouTuber that I've watched before. His, uh... His name is Big Dan Gaming. Puts up a shit ton of Mass Effect videos. Mm -hmm. He had some from needs it for on every day PC. And it was just like the original Mass Effect, not not the new one. And oh my god, are the textures just bad. Still <laughs> nice. As usual. <laughs> Matt, thank you for the host and the resub. It's our Twitch baby. Our baby's name is Shepard, and it's your favorite baby on the Citadel. Well, good. It Very goddamn nice. better Very be. Nice. 
fond memories of Mass Effect Three staying in its plastic wrap on your bookshelf for you. It, yeah, yeah. It's still it's still downstairs in the in the the tin because I got like the steel book edition. It's still down there. It's it's still down on the shelf. I still have never taken it out. It's it's in there in the steel book inside the plastic sleeve. It's down there. I I still haven't played three. Uh, let's see. Okay, for your character's complete. Like, there's no, I can't, I can't change anything. So what the hell? Like, all I can change well, is my name. So did you, did you, ch pick default male or default female, or did you go with custom? I went with default. I went with default male shepherd. Well, if you go with custom, you could pick the same look, but then actually customize the rest of the stuff. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Let's see. Custom quick start. Oh, if you got to just custom. Custom. To your it has survived three different homes. You're right. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my. What in the hell? Been wanting to play this for a bit since it came to Game Pass. Yeah, I, I, I have to. I actually bought it. It because like it went on sale not terribly long ago, like a few weeks back. And I went ahead and bought it because I'm gonna own it anyway. But yeah, yeah, no, I haven't played Mass Effect Three at all, Candies. Not, not at all. Listen here, Viv, you fucking nerd. Your friend whose name is Shepard because of this game. That's pretty cool. This is what we all look like inside. It's true. <laughs> We're corrupted, <laughs> and we have to rebuild our profiles on a regular basis. <laughs> Confirm psychological profile. Soul Survivor, War Hero, Ruthless. I don't want to. Eh. I'm gonna confirm military specialization. Okay. You know the real reason why why I wanted you to make a, a custom shepherd, right? Why is that? More menus. Oh, that's true. There are a lot of good menus here. I I love Mass Effect. You played maybe an hour of three. Yeah. I just I I just never got around to it. Like I. I got the steel book, the special edition, and I just never got around to playing it. And then, like, a lot of life happened, and then it just... I never came back around to it. That Mass Effect 2 radio pause menu, though? Mmm, true. True. The radio menus in Mass Effect are just fantastic. Engineers can... Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Biotics. and eh, the biotics stuff is cool. I love, how, I love how when you look at Adept, it's like, hey, by the way, the biotics are going to highlight his package pretty, pretty Right, That's right? Tough. Like, 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 come on. <laughs> come on. It's we're, we're looking right at your junk, Shepard. All right, infiltrators combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use Omni tools focusing on description and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can specialize in pistols or sniper rifles and wear medium armor. Sentinels are da, 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 da. And by biotics and weapons take down opponents, especially deadly at short range. Specialize in pistols and shotguns and wear medium armor. Vanguard is is my my jam. I uh, that's what like that's kind of what I'm feeling like. I'm I'm kind of torn between soldier or vanguard. Yeah, son, I'm so, playing the first one over again. I haven't played it in over ten years now. See my my uh my go to was originally just running soldier go, going shock trooper and then having immunity running which is like an eighty percent damage reduction for like almost Confirm all complete uptime and then you just stack the shit at a health regen and then it doesn't matter what else happens right so but they rebalanced all of the defensives so that that's no longer a thing. <laughs> So I was like, oh, screw it, I guess I'll just stay Vanguard all three games. Confirm facial identification. Oh man, did I ruin it? I ru I ruined my face. I ruined my face. How dare you ruin your face?
Make your own Mr. Handsome. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that sheen for your god God damn it, Matt. <laughs> oh my god. Mr. Handsome. Alright, let's uh let's do I like that. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. Okay, let's... Okay, face size. Okay. Wow. Okay. Eyes. <laughs> Those eyes right there. How fugly we going first? I probably know, man. <laughs> well, you're looking at the screen and the word gnocchi caught your eye. Wait, where did you see? Where in the hell did you see gnocchi? Commander Squidward Shepard. <laughs> SpongeBob! Oh, oh, I see now, Hiltzy. Oh, okay. Maybe she saw from scratch for your Noki. It was really... Oh, 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 that sounds really good. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very distracted by menus at the moment. Is distracted by menus right now. Probably. Oh, the gnocchi station guy. Oh man. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> I could do I could do the Mr. Handsome with the fucking hair. Uh, but I can't do anything long, which I mean I guess makes sense. It's still a military man. I like that. I'm gonna have Elena make make me a shepherd at some point because I want to do a Paragon run, but I can't help but make asshole looking people. So, God damn it! So, do you like? Hold on a second. Wait a minute. I'm I might go with that one. Let me let me see what all my options are. Oh wait, there's one over the eye right there. So fun fact, um, it's not it's not necessarily easy to see, but I actually have a scar right here. Like that's oh yeah, I see it. That's a scar right there. It's for the battle of battle from loaf, right? Yeah, that's that's no, that's where I got hit in the head with a golf club, at the age of like eight. Your favorite thing about Shepard is that pie he's known for. It's true. It's true. That pie is like. Probably his greatest. Profile reconstruction complete. Okay, that's not bad. I can I can get with this. I can dig this. 
Found out my wife is cheating on me. She said, I'll be home in 10 to 15 minutes, Max. My name isn't Max. Jesus Christ, Viv. All right, fuck it. We're done. Okay, I did all these already. All right. I, so, like, I like one, but two, they're like... There's there's some like things some quality of life shit in two that they really improve like not having to constantly switch out your equipment, um, the you could have some serious emotional scars. I I love that playing on the Xbox you could import your shit from one and not like and take bring over like literally everything that happened instead of having to go through like the little questionnaire thing. That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. Which I get it. I understand why they did that. Like it's I think it's great. Um. But I liked, it just felt like more of a personal touch, you know? And I appreciated that. And then the elusive man. Is I that what you appreciate about it? Why don't you take about 5-10% off there, Squirrely Dan? It's the Mass Effect. It's the Mass Effect. That's They said the thing. They said the name of it. They did the thing. They did the thing. They did the thing. Hmm. That is a pretty boat. The Arcturus Prime relays in range. Initiating transmission sequence. Oh, Joker! I think my favorite thing about the Elusive Man is that he's, uh... Through the transitive property, he's Charlie Sheen's dad. Why do you gotta put shit like that in my head? Why you gotta do that to me? <laughs> Board is green. Approach run has begun. This is just fantastic. This is gorgeous. <laughs> Why you gotta say it like a dad? <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty. Oh, that's pretty. Check navigation. You remember to zip your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. All systems online. Drift. Just under fifteen hundred k. Fifteen hundred is good. Your captain will be pleased. Hit that guy. I hate that guy. <laughs> Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story, but only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting up. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports related what to is his name? Rest. What is the actor's name? Uh, it's David... Oh, yeah, Fuck. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here. Uh, Anderson's voice actor? Yeah. Keith David. Keith David. That's what it is. Keith David, yes. Fantastic. Get that, Commander? Hi, Kit. Thanks for the alert, Kit. I'm on my way. Is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Oh, 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 hey, always oh, the first thing you do is zoom right in on his ass. There you go. There you go. That's the Citadel's ass. <laughs> That's the galaxy's ass. Oh, God, the radio menu. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, I got three points to use. Um, I want... And they all want sun chips. They all want sun chips. 
Let's do... I'm going to do assault training. And... Yeah, we're going to do warp. All right. Check the codex. There's my history. Don't care. There's the timeline of the systems alliance. I don't care. Do I have to just have to scroll through the whole thing? Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, all right, throw that menu in a circle. Look at all those menus. <laughs> all right, what do we got? What have I got on me? Anything good? Just my assault rifle. Let's see. Oh, I got. Oh, I got everything. Look at all this stuff I got. I got all my stuff. All right. Cool. <laughs> you literally just threw a grenade. <laughs> In your ship. What's gonna? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> what's the What's the worst that could happen? How do I? Uh, how do I get out of the the combat stance? Oh. Uh, one of the buttons. I've, you're playing on controller. I have no clue. <laughs> Kiff, have the boy bring me my shorts. The boy, sir. You, you bring me my shorts. <laughs> this is amazing. Eh, it's fine. You know what? It's fine. I wouldn't want. I wouldn't worry about it. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors, cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheaper, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious the shakedown. Security leaks. Cover. <laughs> We're humans. We don't give a shit about that. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military. But Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come this looks just so good. <laughs> yes. Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on East Crime Dock. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. All right, let's go fucking talk to this guy. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to, Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. 
serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the commander what's wrong. Wow, like look at his face. This is far more than a simple shakedown. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I already figured that out. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Yes, we need to bring the bacon back. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interest. God, I love Commander. bacon. This oh my god. I went to the meat fountain yesterday and I got space. chicken specifically wrapped in bacon. I do, buddy. I sure do. I also partook in the bacon wrapped chicken and it was delicious. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. Viv, I would love to take you to the meat fountain, buddy. Oh, Wisty, you should make bacon-wrapped chicken. Little bacon-wrapped chicken nuggies. Bacon-wrapped everything. Just bacon-wrapped my face. Oh, God. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a and ship would stay green. Oh, I know it would, Viv. I believe in you. We I believe in you. The, Council. the Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks... It Plus, it's protein. That's Alliance's good protein, you know. You need that. Not many so that's good survive. pure energy. Protein. You showed a remarkable will to live. Not yet, it's not. Useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden mm, I want to see your skills of an artist. Well, G to G, Kaiser from California. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship. <laughs> Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. Fine, we're not watching a cinematic or anything. It will be known as the it's world fine. where humans made a discovery of galactic importance. <laughs> Get out! Get out! Get out! Get! Go now, Vermin! Get! I love you. Hey, leave him alone. He's got a galaxy to save. I got a galaxy to save. I love you. I love you. I love you. Galaxy ain't gonna save itself. I, I gotta go you. get some bacon and take it home or whatever. I love you. I gotta literally bring home the bacon. I love you. I love you. Get out. Go away. God. Uh. Look, 
L Loaf enters the room. I heard you need a galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> meow. Why is this beacon so important? I can't hear you, Paige. Galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Well, pardon. This bacon. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean this bacon is so important because it's delicious. I'm sitting here, Wistie. I got a hand for it. It's tiny bear claw, thing. and she's gonna get it. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. I do got some good eyebrows going on here, Core, I gotta say. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. Of course we do. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Oh hey, that's not good. Get down. That's like the opposite of good. We are under attack, taking heavy casualties. I repeat, heavy casualties. We can't get evac. They came out of nowhere. We need Oh, hey. That's not good. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. We gotta bring home the bacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Jenkins. New. stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Captain survivors is the secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. God damn it, Leroy. Drop point one. This guy Miley, chicken. You coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus was got out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. They're harmless. Pew, pew, pew. Fuck you in particular. Listen. It's fine. I just... I had to be sure, you know? You ever just have to be sure? I had to be sure. Yeah! Pew, pew, pew. Boy, this really is pretty, though. There is. HUD new HUD is great. Oh I love the HUD. Love the HUD. Big HUD fan. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we can still Alright, alright. Yeah, buddy. 
Does that shit look like it's flipping you off when it's flying? Oh, that's because it is. It's a big old fuck you ship. Thanks for turning the lights all the way up to white, Dommy. Hi, buddy. I love you. Oh, there it is. And... Where are they at? Where are you at? Well, you're broke boy, 245 on a new tire, 80 on fuel, 210 on groceries. Whoo! Yeah, that'll do it. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. I can't help but do Paragon every time. I can't help mm. it. Mm. You see, I'm an asshole sometimes, so I I have my outlet in this game in the form of renegade everything. Wow. Not bad, not bad. Baby, let's go. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Not bad, not bad. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, God. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> Don't worry. I, that, that'll buff out. It's fine. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, it'll be fine. Get some, like, spackle. It'll be fine. Man, I need this like I need a hole in my chest. Oh. Oh. Hey, uh. What you what you doing back here? Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? <laughs> hey, guess what? Are you wounded, Williams? Chicken butt. A few scrapes and burns. <laughs> Robot chicken butt. So lucky. Oh, Do you get it because it's the guest? Patrolling the perimeter when the attack hits. <laughs> we try to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others. I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. Hello. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. For the what? The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 yeah. years. Why are they here now? My god, did you send me a thing? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. You're fine. I'm I'm activating HBO Max for Bean. Don't 
don't forget to uh set the child child locks on, up for Krakow. Hmm. Might have been a refresh of the app or something. It happens. Okay. Love you. We could Ooh, use her hand. hand. No. Absolutely the hell not. Nerds. Let's see. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. Oh, the Quarians! Supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. What? That would never After happen. That, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. Oh, I love monorails. Weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Thanks so for the shot of Ashley's ass there, game. We never knew they were coming. Have you seen a Turian spectre come in. There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry. Like I said, no Turians. All right, that's good. Move out. <gasps> Angie Pange! Angie Pange, what'd you... Did, Angie Pange, did you have Culver's for dinner tonight? Did you have a butter burger and some cheese curds? Ma'am? Yes! Uh, hey, bud, you got a little something... Um, a little something right, uh... Eh, it's fine. Nobody's gonna notice. Oh, yeah. Uh, Butterburger and custard. Oh! What'd you get in your custard? Pew, 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 pew! Fruity cheesecake chunks and raspberry. Oh, that sounds delicious. That sounds incredible. Hey. A level, that, yeah. There's that good noise. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see what we got over here. What's in? What's in that box? Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's go see what I got in my uh, fucking sh stuff here. Uh, let's see. Damage per seconds up. Accuracy's oh. Uh, Iceberg will steal show. As usual. <gasps> Angie Pange. Thank you for the host. I love you. Ooh. Oh, that's a... It's a slightly less accurate, but like... Boy, howdy, that's... And the only downside is your accuracy rating is no longer to be 69. I know, I know. All right, we're doing it. Uh, that one's not great. Alright. And I got points, baby. Let's see. Yeah.
Let's see. Increases biotic resistance, increases damage, shotguns, and pistols. Alright, let's see. Electronics unlocked. Alright. Overload. Hell yeah. Look at him go. Overkill. Nice. And shield boost. Well done, squad. Well done, everyone. Da -da 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 the beacon was right here. It must have been moved. Who oh, stole the bacon? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Change of plans, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Don't got any more of them crates? No? Okay, let's just go. Got any more of them stuff? Mm, I love stuff. Fuck, I love stuff. I love that stuff. Stuff involves bacon. Oh my god, yes. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh god, they're still alive. Well, they're a f they're alive. They're alive. Esque. Adjacent. Yeah, that's a. Oh yeah, I forgot I can do that. Oh. Oh, I should probably uh, do a, a Healy Majig at some point. Probably. Uh, wait, where's the, where did I see? Is that? Oh, an upgrade kit's over there. Ooh, okay. Ooh, mm. Eh. Yeah, I don't need the... The pistol's probably not going to be much better than what I got now. Oh, come on. Do -do -do. That's a door. Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? Yeah, where's our bacon? We moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age this of the fucking is guy. Ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment. The next we were hiding in the shed while the Geths swarmed over the camp. Agents of the destroyers. Bringers of darkness. Heralds of our extinction. But you gotta calm the we fuck down. The battle outside. Gunfire. Screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? Bacon! It's a data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of It's the original formula to Coca-Cola. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. 
Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction? Yes, Hilti. But spoilers. God, we have to open the bacon to get the cocaine out, or whatever. I think that's how it works. I'm like... I'm like 80% certain that's how it works. Extra dose of his meds after the attack. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Yeah, I got some Paragonins. You got, you got anything in here? No, just... Uh, I deck him right in the schnoz. I know you do, you renegade ass. Ooh. No, not my cocaine. My cocaine. All right, I guess, uh, wait. Where was their door control? <laughs> Goodbye. All right, let's see. Uh, see what I got in my equipments. Uh, this is crap. Actually, let's. Okay, there we go. I I didn't see the icon for a second. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Okay, we're good. Okay. Got some more of that good Omni Joe. Hmm. Oh no. It's this guy. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Oh man, that's. I've got it under control. Oh no. Oh, that sounded like a gunshot. Sploosh. That's what his brain did. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Okay. Some motherfuckers doing some motherfuckering. Hmm. Playing a game of whack fuck. Whack fuck! Uh. Oh, God. I keep doing that. Is there. What's over here? A malfunctioning object. Ooh. All right, let's take it all. Let's go see if I can put on some of this here. No, can I, can I not use that? Because 
Oh. Yeah, alright. Bye, space squid. See you later. Much later. Hey. Great. Okay. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not Do armed. I look like I know what a JPEG is? is? Like I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. Hot hot dog. Hot hot dog. Hot hot dog. Hot hot dog. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang dang Thank you, Ayla. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there. How you, Miss Ayla? I love you. Not until now. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only coming from inside your own head <gasps> I don't think so Ayla it was probably trying Based. to block communications what dang it was felt like it was tearing right through my skull almost made it impossible to think I have to go hey Cole we're just a bunch of farmers these guys are soldiers maybe we should give them the stuff jeez Blake you gotta learn when to shut up You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. Breaking the law, breaking the law. Oh, yes, Ayla, I did see that. I did see your smoker. Yes, yes, yes. Do you want a tri-tip and some veggies? Oh, that sounds good. Probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Little shit. Right? Who's your contact at the spaceport called? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. <gasps> I love you, Angel Pan. Thank you for the lurk. Give some lube. Do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport if he's still alive. Have to go. Good luck. Ooh. Anything else in here? More stuff. Superman. Look at all this crap in here. Oh, there's so much crap. God, right. don't you just love stuff? Boy, howdy, I sure do love some stuff. Might have to turn my uh, camera sensitivity up, though. Actually, let me, let me do that. Yeah, we're gonna try that and see what happens. Oh yeah, that's better. Commander, it's Nihilus. Yeah, we'll we'll hold get... on, looting stuff. Hold on, there's stuff. <laughs> we'll... <laughs> I'll I'll get 
I'll get to looting his body in a minute. <laughs> we'll, we'll listen. It's fine. Wait, is there more stuff over here? Is there, is there Something's more stuff? Moving. Oh. Over behind those crates. Wait! Don't, don't shoot! I'm one of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed You're everyone. a mothership. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. You slack-ass motherfucker. The crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You slack motherfucker. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Your call's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. Amazing. You son of a bitch. We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? Never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Ashley needs to calm the fuck down a little. Prime. We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. A lot of marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Base level weapon. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. It's a Tell stick. Me about this mothership you saw. <laughs> but it's a pointy it's stick. We all know it, Ashley. We it, we all know it, Ashley. We do. Over near that platform. Some motherfucker who needs to calm the fuck down. down. And it was making this noise, this this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. That it? Okay. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Beacon. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. High explosive. All right. Let's check out our stuff. What we got? What we got? Um. Stuff I can't wear. Ooh. Ooh, uh, yeah, we'll take that. We'll try it and see how it goes. Uh, no. <gasps> Hi, kitty. How are you? Just like we all know a Pam. And if you don't know a Pam, <laughs> it's true. Oh. Oh. Wow. Look at this. Yeah.
All right, this is yeah. I'm you know what? I'm good with this. Oh, it's fucking banger. Oh shit. Ah, uh, you missed there, bud. Thanks. How about? Did I miss that time? Uh, probably. Okay, fair. That's fair. Okay, just had a contact support for a website because you lost your Google Auth. Writing an email was just as scary as making a phone call. Oh my god, that's that. Yeah, that can fucking happen. Um, I'm all right. What? All right, let's uh, let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna, and I should probably. How do I? How do I do the heals? I forget. Oh, that's how. Hey, you get the hell out of here. Oh God. Is she dead? Dead? Uh, you have to use your meta gel to bring him up. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Um, can I, did I, did Which, I know? Which you probably have to spec into it, now that I think about it. So yeah, she's gone, she down, she down. You gotta kill everybody. Oh, okay. You heal her with the gun you found. Oh, what about the power of friendship? And this gun you found. Oh, okay, that's fair. You end up going with, uh, what, Vanguard? Yeah. They did enable it so that you could use all of the guns, but you still have your specializations with your other, other weapons. Oh, okay. Pop up, where are you? Can I can I pop you the like the top of your frame? No. I don't think so. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. He's alive. Something like that, yeah. And this is why I stack health regen. I hate using meta gel. <laughs> yeah, I do too. Let's see. Based in the US, chose a good time to email, got a response pretty fast, nice. Make your username, government issue ID. Oh, okay, well that's good, Kitty. Oh. Your arms aren't long enough, that's... That's fair. You got little T-Rex arms. This fucking guy right here. I know, Kitty, but we love you because of your how small you are. So, basically, she's very small. <laughs> I heard. I heard. Uh, so did Death Cab for Cutie, apparently. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Uh, did I miss one? You get shot at. 
Eh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't worry about it. It'll probably buff out. And Where you at, asshole? Tell you what, we're gonna... Oh, oh, you got a shield now. Oh, you think you're special. Okay, I, I shot him, but okay. Uh, let's go back to this. What's over here? Anything over here? No? Okay. Okay, good. Okay, let's... Okay, good. Let's go over here. Okay, we got one over here, and I have an itch on my eye. There we go. Your little emo heart burst into a million pieces. I bet. I bet it did. Ah! Didn't mean to shoot Ashley. I might have meant to shoot Ashley. Oh, we got us... We got us an asshole over here, huh? Surprise, asshole! Who I want the crate? Sure, let's take all the stuff. We can convert it to meta gel later if we need to. Surprise, asshole! All right, let's uh go arm this last or disarm D arm. Disarm this last one over here. Did we got anything else over here? Did we miss anything? Probably, but there's not much I can do about it. Fatigued. All right. This is this is Krakow's stream. This is what this oh, is, and I'm wearing a frog hat. It's it's just not questioning it. This is just how it is around here. All right, let me see. Pause for a second. Put on the frog hat. <sighs> it be time. It's true. Yeah. I got hers in my face. It's hers. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Who's Andre 3000? Hi. You gonna get the sleepy sleep, just gotta get through work tomorrow and you're free oh for two days. Oh buddy. Get the get them sleepy sleeps. The hell is this? I can uh, it used to be a turret. Just a turret that you used to know. Viv, I hope you have an excellent night, buddy, and you get all the good sleepy sleeps and stuffs. And then you enjoy your days off. What we got in here? More stuff. All right. Uh. All right. Okay. Storage locker. All right. 
Nova! Hi, Nova. All right. Nova, how you, baby? What you up to tonight? Uh, okay. I got everything over here, so then I guess I can just go now. Okay, that's good. That's good. I don't know where to go from here. I forget. Oh, here's there's some there's a place over here. Can't, wait, is that where I came from? I think that's where I came. No, that's where I came from. I'm gonna go over here. Noom. Noom. Anything? Ooh, a technician kit. Ooh. Can you use your hoppers yet? To no, the I think the redemption is still on cooldown because it was done on Wednesday, so it won't be until next Wednesday. Uh, okay, I think that's... No, that's fine. Don't be sorry. Oh, it's the bacon. No, don't be sorry. I'm, uh, I'm, I want you to use them. I want you to be able to. It's just... I've got a week-long cooldown on it because I don't want to get my Q2 filled up. No. anything like that when they dug it up. Listen here, ma'am. Something must I love you. It. Very much. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Roger, Roger. What's your vector, Victor? Oh boy. See, it's sucking in Ashley because she's terrible. Woman. You remember when your, your face got blowed up? I do. Yeah, that was uh, not ideal. Ooh. I completed the Eden Prime mission and got a Chivo for it. We identified the ship that touched down. Hello. The Normandy, a human alliance vessel. Matriarch, sorry. Matriarch, sorry. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. You should probably work on that guy. Oh, Jesus Christ. By the Christ. way, that old son, big old alien. <laughs> By the way, in case you didn't know. Yeah. Matriarch Benezia. Deanna Troy. Yeah, oh, I, I, I'm very well aware. <laughs> oh, buddy, buddy, I could not be more aware. Oh, Cracko, what you doing tonight, buddy? Just vibing. Yeah, you as you do. How are you I saw a frog hat, so I was like, I must go. My people need me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's uh, a... It was like a, a, like a bat signal, but a frog yeah. signal just went up, and you're like, About huh, hours. somewhere How some shenanigans are happening. I sense, I sense a disturbance in the force. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's as if a thousand frogs cried out and were suddenly silenced. <laughs> a ribbit signal, yeah. Hi, Bobo. <laughs> you had no way to know what would happen. Oh, Gee, I wonder how Bobo knew I was here. I, Gee, I, I wonder. I, can, I cannot imagine how that would have happened. We'll there's, the there's no way of knowing. How nature do that? <laughs> Damn, nature, you scary. The blast knocked you cold. The <laughs> lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine, but I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase yeah, that's what in they told me. eye movement. It's <laughs> typically associated with intense dreaming. Were you dreaming? Don't let your memes be I dreams. They felt a disturbance in the force. Bobo also felt a disturbance in the force. I better add this to my report. It may... 
Oh, Captain Anderson. Is this that Star Wars oh, I've been hearing so much weird. about? Yeah, this is one of them. Their Star Wars. I said the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Where's Captain Kirk? To speak with you. Oh, he's over. He's over on a different boat. You see. I'll be in the mess. The force is saying you need to go grab a snacky. You should get it, grab a snacky. Snackies are great. Sounds like that beacon. I love snackies. Hard, are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned. Understandable. To Have a nice day. <laughs> Crackle away. Away in there, and and Lieutenant just as mysteriously as he hopped in, he was gone. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. <laughs> Grabs Cracko. Nice. The veil in two centuries, nice. Well, well done. Well no done, Bobo. This. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. He's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. I mean, he's not wrong, though. No, they're not wrong. Anything about it, but Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision. A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we going to tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some... Ancient weapon of mass destruction. Ancient Whatever. weapon of mass destruction. That would no. Saren that they would never do that. But I know Saren. I know his ancient weapon of mass affection. He believes. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I see what you did there. He AWMD. Yeah. See, it's he yeah. It's it's a modified WMD. You see. From the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can. Get Better than an ancient weapon of of ass destruction. That's true. That's true. But not as good as an ancient weapon of mass distraction. Of course, if you're me or Lollipop, our preferred weapons of mass distraction are... Titties! Titties, that's right. Titties. We, we do appreciate the titty. Hey, Commander. Bye, Ashley. <laughs> hey, Commander. Bye, Ashley. Listen. Ooh. I can't wear any of this. Because I can't wear heavy armor, and the rest of it's not for me. Outstanding. You're crap. You're basically crap. 
Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. You're cool, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, I'm out. Oh, mm, eh, eh, er, mm. No, I'm actually going to... I'm How gonna... do you like that Marcus junk button that they added? Boy, I gotta tell ya. Just to be able to go through and just wipe it all at the same time, just... Zoop. No, not that one. Zoop. Zoop. Just gone. Hey, Ashley, try not to do anything racist while I work through these minis. <laughs> Tom, you're asking a lot of Ashley. Oh, man. I remember this ship. I can go downstairs. There's, like, snacks and stuff down here. What's this? What is it? Look! Look, it's the Mako! The Mako. Incredible. Well, in that case, you're... Yeah, gone. Alrighty. Ooh. the thing it, look 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 how whooshy and bright and stuff <laughs> cue john ralphio the worst thank you thank you i'm i'm here all week every week hey commander looking for some extra supplies before you head out <laughs> supplies motherfucker whatever you want armor weapons mods it's not standard alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? French fries, motherfucker. That stuff doesn't come from the alliance. Mmm, French fries, that sounds good. I'm hungry. And it's not cheap. I want, like, food food. Well, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Okay. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost okay. if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. How often will you get new items? Well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased. But I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Hell yeah. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Ooh. Ooh. Look at all this stuff that I, I can't afford. I love that it starts at the top, it's like... There we go. Alright, what else we got here? Let's not talk about someone else's stream and chat, but I was watching someone this morning who's a... Shmishmova. She was definitely repping the Kitarino merch on stream. Uh, you know, I have heard dirty rumors about such a thing happening, Tom. And I'm not going to say any names or press any buttons. But I'll tell you. I'll tell you. There's somebody out there. 
and she knows who she is, looking hella good in that Kitarino hoodie, and we love her very much. Just, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's saying. Let's see. You gonna wear it during your Ukraine? <gasps> oh my God! Okay, that's that's kind of amazing. I'm I'm a little like, ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, I'll put that on my armor. All right. All right, let's uh let's get the hell out of here. Let's go. Actually, was there I got the one first aid interface. Yeah, that's it. That's all I can put on is just the one. That's fair. I'm going upstairs, you see. Damn, I want to get some food. God damn it, Ashley. No one cares. Actually, no. You know what? Let's go talk to her. Let's just go see how to... You want to tell everybody how terrible you are? Do you want to? Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you? Come here. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty. I don't know, Nova. That's the thing. Jenkins was still I got hot dogs in the fridge, though. I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough. White there. people taco night. That's true. Okay. That's true. I've seen friends. White people taco night. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never. Mm, leftover pizza sounds Williams. good too. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Everyone on this ship has to do his or her part, Williams. Remember that. Understood, sir. Joker's waiting for you on the bridge, Commander. All right, let's talk to Caden. Caden's all right. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. All right, let's go. Put your dinner in food porn. Ooh. Hello, we're real grown-ups. Does anyone actually make meatloaf? So I don't make meatloaf only because Bean doesn't like meatloaf. So I don't. I don't really have occasion to make it. Um, yes, but Commander. I probably, Is that you know, yeah. Tom, Tom makes, Tom makes a hell of an everything. But boy, howdy, does he make a meatloaf? And Tom's meatloaf, in true Tom fashion, is wrapped in bacon. And boy, howdy, boy, howdy. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? Just a I bacon just weave loaf. Face. That's right. That's Break my face. Mm-hmm. Just say? shove it right, my, right in the face hole. Just, the just, just, just smack me in the face with it. Preferably in the right side of my face because my left side's got stitches. But yeah. So just like. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the alliance. Bacon loaf with ghost pepper. Oh, I can't do spicy. I can't do spicy. I'm I am extremely white. So I stayed on to do my I am terminally Caucasian and cannot do 
the uh, you made the wrong choice. Sometimes I'm firmly Caucasian. Yeah, well, I'm yeah, I'm, take I'm, take I'm, I'm gonna die from this. The bacon just drips into the meatloaf and gives it bacon flavor and moisture. It sure does. If I left the alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. I got some jerky. <laughs> Listen, I get this beef jerky. Okay. I get this stuff from beefjerky.com. There's a link in chat. That's best friend Mo's link. Use her affiliate link and use her discount code MoCraftLove for 12% off. It's phenomenal. And by the way, Feel my new arms, bitch! If there's anybody around here that we love, it is best friend Mo. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars. Tri-tip with wounds, asparagus, mushrooms, and onions. Eyes and sensitive souls. That sounds fucking incredible. Our military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. Oh, accidentally did some wrong. the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse. And the Alliance always needs... What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him mm. for a few tours mm. now. He knows it's that hard same, Tom. Fuck them dishes. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an elder. Oh, I forgot what about does that. that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, hi. He just, finally... he just gets migraines. Uh, I should, I should go. Yeah, I should probably go. I pop and dragging your ass out of bed, dragon ass. Eh. Dragon ass. Da -ding. <laughs> Donkey has entered the chat. Donkey. Oh yeah, com link. Dragon ass of mass destruction. <laughs> I love it. Oh. You're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on you. Oh, I gotta go around to that side to do it. I forgot. Let's go to the map. Oh. That's right. I can't do that yet. Halfway speaking of Dragon Mass Effect, I have to play Dragon Age Origins again. Oh man. Timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us oh, man. The See that taxpayer money at work. I yeah, I I still gotta play those at some point. Titties, you see. Okay, listen, the SR1's good, but the SR2... They're both very good ships. They are, it's true. Oh, look at this right here. sizes and everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that. Joker monster. knows what he's His about. Main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. <laughs> Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. 
Roger, Alliance Tower, Normandy Hill. Like, Normandy gorgeous. White people taco night. They missed a huge opportunity by not labeling the restrooms in the station the Citadel. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Hmm, look at that Citadel. This is an outrage. The council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony. He's he angry. The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of the Council, Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Zoop. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have you know what, that's the Citadel is now the name of Tom's master bathroom. They are. Sounds like you convinced the council to give us. I think that's an excellent decision. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. Shut the fuck up, the old man. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. Whose fucking fault was that? Fault, not his. Then we better hope... Are you, you're cracking up the fuck up over the Shitadel, Tom? Is, have you have you lost your <laughs> Shitadel? You Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard... You and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance. To <laughs> well done, well done, That's Tom. I hate politicians. Yeah, who else do you hate? Most oh, people. Racist fuck. Mm. Oh yeah, these little buddies. I forgot about those little buddies. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. <laughs> Chastising rebuke. <laughs> I, I love the way the fucking Elcor content or your misconceived suspicions tell me more about your species genuine enthusiasm <laughs> genuine enthusiasm my people it is agreeable to share our culture with others tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor the Elcor were just beginning to explore council space when the Asari first made contact the Asari the Asari Hello? You sorry? You sorry? You sorry? And from there, the Citadel. <laughs> Proudly, within one lifetime, mm, a sorry. The route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups. Though we are always welcoming to outsiders, our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Is... is... is Elena in Elcor? I don't know why she loves them so much. Probably. Can you explain what you're about to say? 
our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kaelin? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that, and if you do, I am very sorry for you. Is that it? We're done? Okay. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Din. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. It's because of our hair. It's, we have really great hair. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <clears throat> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Asari? Solarian Asari? discovered it. We oh, the Solarians. Oh, oh. A standardized galactic economy. Mommy, sorry. However, Mommy, I'm sorry. Despite Mommy, our long I'm sorry. Mommy, I'm sorry. Nice. And our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the council. Okay. That's cool. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the council. <laughs> Listen here, Dick Norlak. Rebuke, Dan. Chastising the rebuke. Favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the council long before our species will. Why aren't the Volus or Dude, spoilers. Part of the <laughs> right? All species must prove themselves before they join the council. All but the Earth clans, it would seem. Somebody salty. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. All right. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Ooh. All right, what do we got here? What do we got here? Call me Earth Clan again and see what happens, you walking fleshlight. God damn. Tactical armor. All right. And we'll do one more Vanguard. Yeah! Barrier. First aid. 
Adrenaline burst. Okay, well done. Can I now... Oh. Still can't uh, equip any other armor. Fantastic. Hey, Earth Clan. But, but Lolly, Lolly, the little, the, the weird babies. If they have four arms and don't interact with you when you speak, she's a keeper. Hello there, humans. <laughs> Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari Consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari Consort? Curious, you have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the Consort. Sha'ira, Sha'ira. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Goodbye. Ding. What's back here? Nothing I can get to. All right, let's go. <gasps> hey, look! It's not Cortana. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide to the Cortana. Of the Citadel space station. What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. Ding. On either side of this lobby are the embassies you of are the here. Citadel races. You want to be over members. there. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel Security. Citadel Security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC. But individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Do you know anything about Spectres? Classified. The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or they authority bring except peace the council itself. With diplomacy, friendship, and this gun they bought. <laughs> and this gun they bought. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As what? Citadel space has expanded, just, uh, more embassies I love it. have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. 
My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. How come the Volus were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, Asari. the most populous and widespread species in Mommy, Citadel Asari. space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleets. They often provide Let me get some of them ships. in times of disaster. I like ships. It would be unfair to demand such an enormous burden of a species unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the Citadel. That's pretty damn arrogant. I apologize if my personality has mm. offended you. Please I like money, you like money? Complaints in writing to the Citadel money. Tourist and Visitor Board. Uh, okay. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standards. Dominant ago, Asari. Turians were invited to join the council in recognition of the role oh, they wow. played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since Krogans, the I love the Krogans. Races have worked together <laughs> to ensure the Krogans are rawr, 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 rawr. The they're, they're the grumpy old bears of space, I think. Individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information she goes. and simple interaction simulations. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Okay. Hello. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel embassies. If you have more questions, please access Savina. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Have a pleasant day. Diplomats, diplomatic archive. Ooh. Yay, got some stuff. Stuff and things. Stuff, stuff. and things. Love going around and rent, like, tagging random consoles to get experience. Listen, you're on the grind, bud. I know, right? Listen, them other 57 levels ain't gonna get themselves. 37? 27? Didn't I do the legendary to get all, like, 60? Legendary is the 30. Classic is the 60. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Hi, Warbear. How are you, bud? What say ya? Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. Hey, let's We're civilian oh. government agency, <laughs> though many of our members <laughs> oh my pumpkin oh training. my of course as the seasick representative to the council i spend most of my time liaising between the two i get the feeling you're not too fond of humans no i 
just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given Good, a doing some writing, the sitting with your son on a Saturday morning while you leave the wife asleep. Nice. That, that's their that sounds pleasant for everyone. Like Hanging out and getting some rest. The council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectre? I can't abide any organization that considers itself a Breaking the law! Breaking the law! Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. Creating NPCs for the Sunday Night D&D game? Nice. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Put it away, Ashley. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Mmm, let's cover. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? you can... Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh, well, she's an Asari who works here as, that is, she helps people with things. You never went to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh, no, I never did. I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. Shut the fuck up, I Ashley. Will. Have fun, that is. <laughs> Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank. The, the bank. And Shaira's. Bank. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I try Flux or Cora's Den. Oh man, Flux. I forgot about Flux. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Go, go throw Den credits in machines. Man, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. Her services? She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Goodbye. Goodbye. Boy, these little guys are just everywhere, huh? Keeping the Citadel up and running. Do ding. Like this game reminds you of Alien 007. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, let's see. Beep beep. Yeah.
had my office rearranged five times in Ooh. <gasps> Bedtime. Nova, I love you, sweetheart. Go get some rest. Give all the snuggles to the pepperoni and to the lovely girlfriend. Tell her I said hello. Hey, who's this guy? Hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Honk! Fuck off! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm Brian. <laughs> oh man! Don't be ridiculous. The Brian's like, the Brian's like, fuck Garris. He's one of them. Actually, no. You know what we're gonna do? Ah, oh, damn it. So then compared to the other games, Garrus is real uh, renegade in this. Ha <laughs> ha I see what you did there. And then go here. Let's go back for a minute. Alright, let's uh Welcome. I am Nelina. I don't recognize I have Brian. I've played one and two. I didn't play three. Bought the steel book for it, like never opened it. Literally never open it. Still have it downstairs. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> Well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name, and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? What do you do here, Nalina? I'm one of the consort's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. Contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to um, match use the Mass Effect of fields to the skills Ooh. of our acolytes. My special wow wow. Find every tension point in your body and relieve it. I'd like to try out your services. Excellent. I'll add you to our client list. We should be able to see you in mm, three or four months. What is the consort? What does she do? It's difficult to explain. She's many. I need to go back to and play Andromeda and too. Something different for each. Some seek her for advice. I actually didn't buy Andromeda because I was like, I bought three and didn't play it, so better not do this time, again. Our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. You make her sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman, a woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Asari? Mommy, Asari. Mommy, Asari. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Where do I go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. 
Don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> Rinse up there. Uh, what? No, I would not do that. <laughs> I am not currently doing that. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Try something really different with Andromeda if you play Maybe like I the old help. games. I have a friend. The old missions are lost in the weeds. It's worth it. All right. I, I do want to play it at some point. I, mean, I want to play three at some point. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Cora's den, drinking. Everyone, please control yourselves. This is a mature party. And no. Noob, thanks for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Howdy, howdy. I, I give everybody a chance to, to pop in. To the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. I'm gonna get to this conversation real if quick. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very... Uh, uh... Read something for you. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Ah. Welcome in, everybody. For those of you who are new, I'm Zunderscore. I'm a variety streamer. I do this four nights a week. Tonight is Xbox Game Pass You Pick Night, and we are playing Lollipop's Pick Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Um, on Sundays, we alternate between Fortnite shooting fights, which we're doing this week, and Retro Night, which we will resume again next week. And then Mondays, we play Final Fantasy XIV for MMO Mondays, and Wednesdays is Group Therapy Night, and I usually do a little bit of code then, so welcome. I'm glad to have you. Um, if you enjoy hanging out with us, which I think you will, um... Hit that follow button. I've got a follower goal I'm doing every month this year. And at the end of the month, if I meet the follower goal for that month, I will give away a three-month Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription on the first stream of the following month. So hit the follow button. Hang out with us. You'll be glad you did. Uh, is this the kind of mature party with which necessitates dentures? Yes. But only if you don't, but only if you don't uh, mash your food up first. Hearing's already started. Come well, on. That's, there's a lot of side quests, and I would argue that they're not good. Oh, but Brian, don't say I love side quests. The Geth attack is a matter of Listen, Nova, now, you just missed her too, oh, but Nova, the investigation love Nova. Love, love, love Nova. She is she's a very, iceberg very good. excellent being. More ice bear. More good. Oh, thank you for that follow. VMT. VMT. TMV. traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. This fucking guy. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. That's, I mean, that's I fair, Brian. That's, but what that's an, that is an excellent point you make. <laughs> Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And this meeting could have been an email. This Same meeting could, could have been. been. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this meeting could have been an FTL transmission. <laughs> we linked into the combo and everything. Oh, wow. You need to open your eyes. What we need 
is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. <laughs> we have one last piece of evidence. Shepard tripped balls. <laughs> 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 That is correct. <laughs> he was tripping bear balls. <laughs> it was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Well, Everybody the humans are kind of terrible. Person. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. Fuck, I love the I sound of Keith right. David's voice. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? Garrus? Huh. He might be important. He's asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? The prequel book about Anderson Saren was good, C from what you remember. Ooh, neat. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Give me some of them Paragon points. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Sarah. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dun, dun, dun. that buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information... Hey, bud, that's a nice shirt you're wearing there. Thanks. Saren have a history? It's it's what a best happened? friend Mo shirt. About 20 years ago. That's why it says Mo on it. I was part it's of right there. Skillion Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operated. Man, I love how good this game looks. Like, they really did a great job remastering it. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. The, really the first Mass Effect game probably has, depending on how like how distracted you get by stuff, um, probably about forty to fifty hours. Um, Cause like I do a lot of side quests, and um, I probably got about fifty two, fifty fifty two to fifty five hours into my my original run of Mass Effect One. So it's got a good amount of content to it. That's too long. I wonder yeah. more about the Spectres. It's it's a it's a really involved story. There's a lot to it. Behind the scenes. 
They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They have a, they've been watching you for years. Just have this little little they see boom over in a corter of the citadel that's just side. like Nihilus was supposed to give them a final Spectertron nine thousand. <laughs> and they just push a they button. Still up in the air. What's their <laughs> command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law. Do whatever it but yeah, noob, if you're looking for something with like a shorter gameplay, Mass eye. Effect probably isn't Spectre's isn't going to be a great for you. Um, just because it's, like I said, it's it's got an extremely like involved storyline. And then, of course, the main series is up to three now. When they select their and they've got... And it's not like you could even... It's not like you could even one solution. just play through the main story, the especially here. Because, yeah. um... You need, you need the side quests for they sound reputation. Like so, you, you kind of need Everything to do it. Yeah. Classified. We don't even know how many That's fair. Are. That's fair. I, I appreciate you hanging out. Numbers under 100. But the council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents, the last line of defense, the final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Rough Got your quote of long games? Bribery that's uh, alcohol and drug use. like I get that because I mean I have so much stuff that I play enough was enough. that it's hard for me to get into yeah, a longer game right. anymore. You should have been cut because like a long time ago. I'm playing 14. First human um, for you pick fight. night, I only get you know three hours to play a game, so I'm not going to get a whole lot of time in with it. But it looks like his time's run out. Um, so shorter games I do enjoy. Like unpacking, unpacking was a great game to play, because unpacking you can get through in just a couple of hours. I thought this embassy was supposed to help humans. Harkin may be human, but he's also an ass. He's had more than his share of chances. If the embassy wasn't protecting him, he would have been fired 15 years ago. Csec is better off without him. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Donut County was a really fun game too. And that was like literally one night and I was done. Fantastic game though. Very, very good game. Get get the hell out of the way. One over by the keeper. Hmm. What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Um. Yes. Is you get that itchio, itchio cream bundle. You cream bundle. Oh yeah, that's a that's a hell of a bundle. That's a really good list of stuff too. Why are you so interested in the keepers? Keepers. I've got no interest in the. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh, Settle down, Ashley. I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. It'll be a game you really you wanted to play to get anything new. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, like I and I think a lot of people have that problem now. Like, I could help you out. Just not massive amount of backlog. I don't even know who you are. Plus, I got Game Pass, so like I constantly have backlog. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. 
It's the scanning device I developed. Side quest. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. <sighs> CKY, what's up, bud? What you eating? What you eating? What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. Crayons. Fair. Fair. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, Make sure you're eating those I good Crayolas, though, not that Rose Art shit. So we only have quality crayons in this stream. Scanning. Do do do. No, I haven't spoken to him before. This is the first time I've requested an audience. Do do do. Uh, fine. I'll talk to you. Wendy's double bacon. Oh, oh! You can only afford off-brand. You know what? Listen, you you gotta get what you can take sometimes. Commander. Okay. Bye. Do do do. do. Anything over here? Nope. Nope. Okay. No? Okay. Let's fucking rage. Rage? You know, Mr. Cheezle, like... Swim with the seabirds or whatever. So how happy are you that you have to go back and visit all the keepers again? Oh, man. Oh, man. Just I'll... boop them on the snoot. Just boop boop. CKY, I fucking love this game. I haven't played it in over 10 years. And I'm just pleased as punch. At some point, the leaded Chinese knockoffs really grow on you. Hey, you know what? It's, it's got that extra flavor, you know? Speaking of knockoffs, one time... Um, so, I used to work in an office where there were regular Nerf gun battles. And one time, my old boss had, like, a knockoff Nerf dart. And instead of having the rubber tip, it had a hard plastic tip on it. And he got me right in the forehead, like, right here. Looked like I had a nipple on my forehead. Can you just not be shitty for once? Think about getting splinter cell. Ooh, there you go. Let's see. Do do do, wandering around the citadel, doing citadel stuff. I like nipples. I just don't like my own. How many people try to? Nobody. Nobody. That's. That would have been that would have been especially weird at work. Ashley is a long vacation. <laughs> Beer Meyer is nice this time. <laughs> What's this? What's it this? Clan. A very famous one, yes. You are the one called to Shepherd. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on a coos is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to... We should just drop Ashley into a mass relay and just... Financial advisor to many see what happens. Here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself <laughs> arrives on the Citadel... Ashley, would you like to do some science? Hmm, science. Put your finger in this mass relay right over here. <laughs> yeah, just, just, just go... Just... I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are Sometimes, someone told her before her story gets really good in the so later I'm games. I said I never had her in my party long enough to know. Yeah, no, no thanks. The there is no um, catch. 
The shadow broker is quite upset with Saren right now. You can they used to do a lot of business. Convince her to me. be less of a racist shit. Yeah, but like But it involves using your your great shepherd penis. Saren betrayed him. And in that. Then she yeah. No so you, Saren, you know, there's there's that thing. He knows the shadow broker is a Even if it was work you would have just for the lols. Yeah, I mean, him doesn't make you sense. know, just Not don't do anything that could get you fucking it. fired. I don't know the details. I'd rather have the emo guy with the headaches. Yeah. Yeah, I like the emo guy with the headaches. That's not much to go on. I just told you that the most famous specter in the galaxy betrayed the shadow broker. Quite a bargain. Considering the price. Speak with the Krogan if you want to learn more. The Krogan? I heard he was paying a visit to Citadel Security. If you hurry, you might catch him before he leaves the Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with Cisek? Krogan. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. I'm telling you, Krogans are like the grumpy bears of space. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information and. Andromeda's got a real good one too. Ooh. The Shadow Broker I like a good Krogan. Grumpy Every old fucks. Buys and sells secrets that could topple government. Oh, the the one in Andromeda is literally a grumpy old fuck. It's great. Oh, I love that. That's. Oh, I can't wait to play Andromeda at some point then. To upset the natural balance of power. All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Any He's old war grandpa? Yes! yes! I don't know. Nobody I've seen things you wouldn't understand, boy. Any gender. Or whatever. The theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never. Win. Iceberg will steal show, as usual. Ray! Ray, thanks for the host, buddy. How are you? I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. Uh, Tell me more about your job. Ray, how you doing tonight, buddy? Are you alright? Incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Making foods? Yes, foods. Efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain... What kind of foods you making? You know I gotta ask. You know I'm gonna. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope you will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye. Let's see what we got here. C-Sec Academy, let's go. We're going. Ooh. Look at all this stuff. Ah, human. 
this one is greatly Oh, I forgot about when they do the this one. <laughs> Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Call it a salad, chicken fajita, meat, avocado, tomatoes, and cholula for the dressing. Ooh, that sounds good as fuck. What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. This one is able to procure almost any item the human would desire, for a price, naturally. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and it? For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive. It is part of our culture. Specifically, humans do be nosy as fuck though. themselves in the first person with family or intimates. Oh my. Intimates. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. I'd like to see these rare and wonderful items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. All right, I, I'll come back later for this. Thing. I think my favorite thing about this game is just how long you can go in the like beginning of this game without having to shoot a single shot. Oh yeah, just like, like once going you get through. through the, like once you get through Eden Prime, there's just so much just talking to people and seeing shit. There really is. Like, the Citadel is massive, and there's just so much shit to do here. But, like, that's the other thing that I love about this game. And, like, I think one... One had more of it than two, I feel like. Um, Absolutely. But, like, you just... You can just go so long and just do, like... the The exploration and the knowledge gaining is probably as much if not more so involved than the combat and i i bet you anything that there is the, the reason that two and three straight away from that as much is because of ea i'm sure because ea's like cause make a shooty shoot EA acquired them after after Mass Effect 1. Yep. So, yep. like, I guarantee you that EA had a hand in saying, hey, make make the other ones more shooty-shooty. It's the only game where you got 100% of the achievements? Dang. Stop. Later down, it's just far past the Emporium to your right and across the lake. Oh, I gotta, oh, I gotta cross. Uh, can I do that from here? I don't know that I can from here. Can I get up there? It's the... Oh, uh, there's the staircase. Yep, you got it. This is them being very KOTOR. That's why Caden is such a carse. Um, Brian saying words. I don't know what they mean. Or this is one of your companions in uh, Night Seal Republic. I never which played. Which is I never, also a Bioware game. It is. I never played Kotor. Uh, Ray plays a lot of that. Raythan, he he plays a lot of that. Yeah, do do do, going down this way. Going over here, going over to the elevator. What if Star Wars, but using a D and D rule set? That's Kotor. In light of the 
recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling... Colonial, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, I'm colonist so enrollment... Happy Colonizer Day. Many colonial Oof. Are on hold, Oof. So backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. I love that they kept the elevators in there. They didn't have to. I know. I know. Like a keeper. What? Boop. Hey, I know you. You're Shepherd, right? Yeah, you're goddamn I saw right. I am. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? <laughs> I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's Was there a press A to skip? I didn't even see it. I, I, I'm listening. Yeah, I don't know what CSEC is, at least for the Citadel. They added a, um, they like made it so, so that once the, interesting than staying back on Earth. once the new zone's yeah, loaded, you can just cool aliens, skip it. Like oh, that's nice. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Even aliens. I don't want to talk to you I anymore. Get out of here. Right. You're probably real busy. Yeah, I am. Around, hey, Ashley can stay with you, right? Okay, cool. Here we go. Look at that view. Big place. That your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station. It's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. Well, you say that. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? The Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. All right, secure the chatter. We're all FNGs here, but we don't. FNGs. Oh, um, I used to I used to run the FNG team. Oh, I miss those days. Commander Shepard, excuse me, Commander Shepard. Oh, for God's sake, what do you I want, Emily? Home. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Ford gets around. 
Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Side quests. It's a side quest. Ba ding Dooby dooby doo. Let's just uh, wander around here for a minute. Rapid transit. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Good Lord. Oh God, look at that Omni tool. The Cypher tool five. Ooh, oh, a license. Tool, the Surface Duo 2. This is my Omni tool. <laughs> You're just going to wear it on your wrist? <laughs> yeah, I'm just that. CKY, enjoy your nap, buddy. Go digest those crayons. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. Well, well, well. Your Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Thanks for the look, Eden buddy. Prime. Appreciate you. I spend most of the time trying to stay alive and help the colonists. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. Fucking Conrad. Fucking Conrad. Uh, Conrad is here purely. Conrad is, well, he's kind of like a, he's a MacGuffin. He's here to, to just keep the story going, right? And much. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Yes. Let me see what you have. Show me what you got. You will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Mm, let's see what kind of... I don't know what you got here. Good lord, look at all this stuff. Ooh. A license? A license, you say? Mmm, it's for getting all that good stuff. Let's see, what we got in here? What's in here? What's in here? That's him. Oh my god, you actually had to use your gun before the end of stream again. I know, right? And... Yeah, I took care of the thing. This is why we're I'm really here. For this moment.
<laughs> Sit forward. And relax. Do not relax. You're a professional. Fine. Fine, Brian. I, I will sit forward. Okay, that's enough. That Is was it? enough. Huh? Is it? Listen. I got business here, but not with you. Ah, we're a grumpy, grumpy, grumpy old bear. Not now. I'm watching this. Commander! What do you want? I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good. You show the heroic the respect. Lies. That's fair, Brian. That's fair. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. So if you feel that way, then why spread lies about her? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. I think I can see why you're upset. But spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Enjoy your drink, General. Yeah, off you go. I don't have enough. I don't have enough Paragon points to tell them the yes. <laughs> don't waste your time, kid. Run away now while you still can. Goodbye, General. Louis, yeah. Louis, what you doing, buddy? Louis, are you doing the awakes? Alliance military. And then there's this asshole. Treat myself. Okay, I'm gonna eat the uh, the trail mix because I I'm I need the protein. Uh. R and D doing the awakes. I figured you might be. Louis, how are you this fine Saturday morning, sir? Harkin, right? I was told you could help me find someone. A Turian CSEC officer named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad. Start the works in an hour. Had two hours of sleep. Oh, Jesus, Louis. I'm doing all right. I'm kind of hungry. I like. I'm. I think after stream, I'm gonna run downstairs and grab like a a food food. Why'd they kick him out? I have to ask him. I never heard. But I've been playing through Mass Effect One again. Playing the Legendary Edition. Let me tell you, this is pretty. Classic tragedy. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, you might as well spread them around. You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine, ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Fuck you, my guy. Oh, it's the view button. Uh, Mass Effect is good. It's, it's, uh... Uh, it, well. He sits down at one of those strippers and she affects his mass. <laughs> <laughs> the back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He Who's owns that? this club, but the customers. Kidding cat sneaked in and then she snicked out. Goodbye. Waka waka. Enjoy the club. Goodbye. Goodbye.
there was a Loferino. She was doing Loferino stuff. Hey, remember that time when I killed a guy? Yeah, hey, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You should go become a specter so that you can not have to face any criminal charges for that. Yeah. Bading. All right, let's go. We're going up here. Oh, I gotta boop him on his little snoot. Boop. I love it. You gotta boop him. Boop him on the snoots. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Ba ding. Oh hey, it's over here again. Doop 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 do, going downstairs. Going over here. Going over. You just love this trilogy. You need to get this game. You do need to get this game. Listen, this is pretty. And I played the first one. This is gorgeous. Also, hi Julian. How are you, bud? Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long range. Julian, what you up to tonight? Their genetic sterilization. Julian's probably doing alliance raids. Investment money when the study produced no viable results. Getting around to doing your alliance raids on a Friday. It's a bold move, Cotton. Not better. Yeah, uh, exactly. Hey, who's this? Boy. I saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. You want me to arrest you? I want you to I'd try. I want you to try. <laughs> 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 Look at this grubby old bastard. Go on. Get out of here. Oh, he just pats yes. him on the shoulder like, oh, you're cute. I'm walking away now. I'm trying to Dear sweet boy. Sarah. Playing tribes Bottle of Midgar Bottle with your wife. Nice, nice. Bottle is a wise man. We may share a common goal, human. Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den. A man named Fist. He did something very foolish. What did he do? He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. A Quarian? <laughs> hello? Hello? Great information, hello, hello? Place to hide, so she Tally? Fist. Sorry. Tally? Tally? Sorry. He Tally? Sorry. <laughs> <the Twitter Shadow. laughs> you gonna do the lurk while you drive to work? Hey, listen. Yeah, you better, you better lurk, buddy. You be safe. I love you. I hope you have an, uh, a very easy day at work today. What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Corian has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Where's the Quarian now? Last I heard, Fist still had her. Probably somewhere inside his club. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. He might come in handy. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow Fucking up. Fucking love the Rex. Investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. God damn it, I love Rex. Oh no, I don't have enough room to add Ashley to my squad. Oh. Nothing of value was lost. <laughs> Nothing of value was lost. Rex is fantastic. I fucking love Rex. Excuse me, excuse me. Well, hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? That was definitely Garrus, yeah. The officer before. Probably. My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? 
I kind of like the scruff that I put on Shepard, I'm not going to lie. He started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. Okay. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know. Yeah, um, I just want to talk to him. 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 He's just a scientist. Shorban. That's the guy who asked us to scan the keepers. The keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Well, good luck. Hello, Commander. Goodbye. Running up the stairs. Boop. Alright, I think I've booped everything in here that I can. Right, let's see, what, what are we doing over here? What's 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 this? Just uh Okay, can't do shit there. Alright. Yeah. I gotta go. Sec, hooking you up. Commander Shepard here with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. A license? Hmm. Like this. So you're gonna find what you're looking for, but not a price you could ever afford, right? Right? Like, <laughs> okay. Nice, nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Right, let's go to my equipment. Let's go over here. Did I, did I not just buy? Hello, Commander. I think I'll be. Oh, going. damn it! Sure thing, Commander. You have a good day now.
There it is. Okay. Uh, yeah. Equip it. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to do that. All right. Let's go. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Boy, I gotta tell you, like... I mean, I know it's kind of the point, but honestly, though... Freaking... CSEC Academy looks nothing like it used to. Like, it's just so, like, well-lit and everything. <sighs> where the hell is... G Garrus, where the hell are you? Somebody, somebody find Garrus for me. Where's Garrus? Garrus, where are you? In the medical lab? Uh, I don't know. Maybe... There's the docking bay. All right, let me go look at my journal. Uh, let's see, Garrus, med clinic in the upper wards. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. Uh, can I? Can I get a map? Yeah, let's get a map. That's the docking bay. That's the lower wards. That's traffic control. Oh, wait, well, no, wait a minute. If this... That takes me to the Presidium, but what about the upper wards? How do I get... That's the wreck officer. Um, so if you go over to that terminal to your right. Oh, I guess rapid I could, transit. Yeah, I guess I could do rapid transit. Wards locations. Oh, look, I already have the med clinic registered. I didn't think I had it registered. Makes you wonder why they didn't call it the sexy instead. Yeah, you know? Yeah. Oh, hey, look at that. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or... Who are you? Let her go. Oh! Boom, headshot. Boom, headshot. 360 no scope. Get fucked. Get fucked, boy. You want some? Get My some. My name's Rex. I'm big. I'm huge. I'm angry, and fuck you in particular. Come here. You want some? You want some? Yeah. What the hell is this? Yeah. Congratulations, you just irradiated yourself. <laughs> Listen, it was it was it was necessary. Thanks, Dommy. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage. There wasn't time to think. I just reacted. I didn't mean to. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? Yeah. No, I'm okay. Gotta love when voice actors talk to themselves. Yeah. I know those men threatened you, but if you tell us who they work for, we can protect you. They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. The one I told you about, Shepard. <laughs> Quarian. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. Let's go. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Welcome aboard, Garrus. Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. Hmm. 
Well, bro well, well. Squad. Huh? Bro Squad. It's time for Bro Squad, boy. <laughs> yes. Ha <laughs> ha. We're doing Bro Squad. Let's fucking go. All right. Where's that terminal? Let's go. Let's go do some shit. Let's see. Wards. Core's den. Here we go. <laughs> Mommy, uh, sorry. Looks like it shut down. Fuck you, bartender. Oh, you wanna you wanna start some shit? And you should have stuck to mixing drinks, boy. Yeah, boy. God, when Crow can start moving in this fucking game, holy shit. Right? Good fuck, boyos. You got anything else in here? Alright, let's go. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never like fist anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting <laughs> people isn't always the answer. Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to... Give uh, them some points? Uh, no, no, they... they, they... I have them auto assigning their points. Mm. I'm sorry. I figured, why the hell not? Ooh, take all. Let's go to my fucking equipment. Uh. No, you're junk. I don't care. Ooh, an Avenger too. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, Marcus Junk. A Scimitar too. Yes, please. Marcus Junk. Uh, no. Well, no. All right. Mm, look at all that Omni Gel. Oh wait, this is the way I came in. Gotta go, gotta keep going forward. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Oh, that was oh! It's that stupid turret got me. Oh, all right. I'm gonna get it this time. I'm gonna get it this time. Looks like it shut down.
Oh, fuck you. Get the uh actually no no you know what can I yeah let's let's get this back out okay go through here Stop right there don't come any closer warehouse workers all the real guards must be dead stay back or we'll shoot okay this would be a good do time this. to find somewhere else to work yeah yeah right that's a good idea. Yeah, I never liked Fist anyway. It would have been quicker to just kill them. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that for now. Okay. Let's go through here. Shoot them too, they got guns on you. Yeah, shoot them all. Fuck them. Okay, take it all. Let's go to my equipment. Yeah, I need I need the damage protection for right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, we're gonna. All right. Oh, that's the other thing I need to do. I need to give them. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh, what was the other thing I want to do? All oh, right. Yeah. Oh my god, the turrets got me quick that time. Oof. Oh. You know what the worst part about it is? End of the line? End of the line, pal. Oh. Oof. Yep. 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 No good, though. So good. So good. Oh. That was really good. Boy, that's that game is really pretty in the Legendary Edition. Holy shit. <laughs> God, that was good. Uh, that was an excellent pick, by the way. Just, uh, I mean, of course you would, but like excellent all the way around. Oh. Uh, okay, so next week, next week we're doing Golf With Your Friends. Um... Rip Shepherd gone before you left the Citadel. Dang. Dang. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I guess they were right. You should have been a Spectre. <laughs> F. Pour one out. Pour one out for me. Um, hey, thank y'all for hanging out. Um, this was great. I Boy, I haven't played that game in so long, and it's just... It's so good. So good. I love it so much. Uh, next Friday, yeah, we're doing... I'm to play one of my games. That's true. That's true. Next Friday, we're playing golf with your friends with Matter. Um, let's see. Sunday is... This Sunday, we're doing shooty fights. Um, Monday, we're playing 14 for MMO Mondays. And Wednesday, we'll be in... Uh, Going to put in points for Andromeda. Nice. 
Uh, and then Wednesday will be group therapy while I code night. Uh, so that should be a really fun time. Hey, if you enjoyed hanging out tonight and you haven't followed the channel yet, I would love for you to. Again, I got a goal over there. I'm trying to meet the goal every single month this year. So following the channel helps greatly. Tell your friends if they're not following the channel to come hang out with us. It is a great time. I love it. It's the highlight of my day um, being able to hang out with y'all. So um, thank you. Thank you again. Let's go see who we're going to go see tonight. Ice Bear is ready to Tokyo Drift. Holy shit, Brian, thanks for the cheer, buddy. Thanks for the five bucks. It's, I know the bot says it's 500 bits, but that's because the whole thing is in beta and they don't, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, let's see, who's doing stuff and things? We haven't seen Tay in a little bit. It's been, it's been a minute since we've gone to see Tay. And hers is just hanging out and doing stuff, so let's go see Tay. Okay. We're going to raid Ultra Tay. <laughs> That's not bits. Yeah, it's not bits. All right, so let's go see Tay. Uh, there's a link to her channel, and there's a raid message. Y'all know the drill. Uh, thank you all again for hanging out. I enjoyed it immensely tonight. Um, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And I will see you on Sunday for Fortnite Shooty Fights. Until then, I got to go get food because I'm hungry. Bye.